Hello, and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. We're going to talk about Eric Adams and New York. And he won New York mayor, and he wants to be, uh, make New York the biggest Bitcoin or crypto center in the United States. Now, this is a big deal, mainly because of where New York is. New York, obviously, is the biggest city in the United States, but more than that, it is the financial center of the United States. More money flows through New York than anywhere else. It is the financial capital of the United States, if not the world. It's one of four or five financial centers in the world, the other being like, you know, Sydney, um, London, Hong Kong, Singapore, you know, a couple there. I don't know if there is. I don't think there is one in Africa. But there's basically like one or two on each continent, and New York is the one in North America. So this guy wants to be to, to take the, back the Bit Crown coin from New York, and this is big because New York has New York has always been a huge hassle for crypto investors because of the state's stringent regulations. I think being mayor of New York City, which basically has more than half the state's population in the surrounding metro area, will have a big influence on that. So he might actually push back on some of the state level regulators and actually ease up some of the regulations for New York, allowing more coins to come into the New York area. We know that Coinbase New York is significantly more restrictive and does not offer many coins in the New York area that's offered in the rest of the country, but that might be changing. Now, he has a friendly rivalry with the city of Miami and their um, mayor, and it's Miami's mayor just won re-election again. And, you know, like his Miami coin thing is doing very well. So New York's mayor is saying we might actually look in that direction. Now, Miami is a pretty big city, the biggest in Florida, obviously. But New York is much more f important financially. And I think like if New York sets an example, then the rest of the country will actually follow too. Because right now, New York and New York City is where all the focus is. And that's where the most stringent cryptocurrency regulations and financial regulations are. So if those could actually be made a little looser or they can get like full regula like regulatory, regulatory guidance in New York, it would actually be a lot better to like not declare everything a security, make it a little bit easier for stable coins to actually survive in New York. That would actually blossom the New York atmosphere because right now the regulations are really cho uh, choking cryptocurrencies out of New York. Now, obviously the governor has a lot of influence, but the mayor of New York City itself has a ton of influence as well. So we have friends now in higher positions. And the thing is, like, this was part of his promise. So he told Bloomberg Radio that he wanted to turn New York into a crypto-friendly city and wagered a friendly competition with the mayor of uh, Miami. He is tired of seeing crypto business flow out into other states like, my, uh, like Florida, like Wyoming, like Texas, and he wants to take it all back into New York. So the way to do that, obviously, is to obviously loosen up some of those regulations, but also perhaps give regulatory guidance. And New York has a lot of influence over the rest of the country. Obviously, he wants the high paying jobs back in New York. And that really doesn't have that much to do with the taxes. It really has to do with like the technological like uh, regulations. I think that's what's actually driving a lot of the crypto money away from New York right now. It's not really the taxes or anything. No one's actually complained about that in the crypto business uh, about New York. It's all about the regulations and the strict regulations that New York has. If he can pare some of those down, I think that would make cryptocurrency itself and Bitcoin go up. And it would invite a lot of crypto business back into New York because everyone working in the financial sector wants to be in New York. That's where Wall Street is. That's where the center of the financial world is. That's where the most money can be made. And that's where you can find the richest and the most investors um, available as well. So I think like cryptocurrency wants to be in New York, but because of the regulatory priorities right now, many of them have been forced to go into other states. Now, my guess is they're not going to move the business out of the other states. They're just going to set up headquarters in New York and be still operate the business in other states as well. But this is a very, very good piece of news for crypto. It's always good when a very, very pro-crypto politician wins an office. You know, we have people in Congress now writing letters to the SEC asking for regulatory guidance, asking for a Bitcoin ETF uh, specifically. We have people in the Senate and the House speaking for it. You know, we have people wanting to make amendments to make uh, bills better for cryptocurrency. And we have a lot of investors in cryptocurrency on both sides of the aisle. Now, we have a lot of anti-crypto people on both sides of the aisle, too. But I do believe that even like people like Janet Yellen, Elizabeth Warren, once they learn more about cryptocurrency, they can be turned to pro crypto because I don't really know about Janet Yellen actually, but Elizabeth Warren is really anti-bank. And if she really knew what crypto was, I think she would be more pro crypto. She's just afraid that crypto will actually be used 
to uh, gather money in the hands of a few, which is actually true if you look at the distribution of crypto. That's absolutely true. But you know, a decentralized blockchain can actually take some of that power away from a few major players as well. And I think like once more politicians learn that, I think, well, once more like the progressive politicians learn that, they will actually like that as well. So right now, the, the New York thing is pretty cool. The mayor of New York, I really like his stance. And because New York's so influential in the financial world, uh, I think it's pointing out for Bitcoin. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification button. Thank you, and have a nice day.